Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to create a simple Twitch chatbot using Python. To do this you'll need a Twitch account. You can use your own or set up a new account for your bot. I created a new account for mine. You'll need to go here to register an application to get a client ID. And you'll need to go here to generate a token. I'll leave links below in the description. Once you have those sorted we can get started. So first off, we want to install the Twitch IO package to help us set things up. Then I'll create a main pi file. And I'm going to import commands from the package here. I'm also going to import OS to read end variables. Using the Twitch IO package, we can create a bot. I've set the values for my token and client ID as environment variables so they can be read in here. The nick value is the name of the account I'm using as a bot. Prefix is what the bot will listen for in order to recognise a command. An exclamation mark is fairly standard so I've stuck with that here, but you can use what you want. And finally the initial channel is my own, but you can add this into anyone's channel if you really wanted to, though they might not take kindly to it. Next I'm going to add an event. This event differs from commands because instead of being called for specific commands, this will be called for all messages sent in the chat. You don't need this if you're only interested in responding to commands, but I thought it was worth highlighting in case you had a use case for it. For now, I've just set this to print out the author and content sent for the message, just so you can see it working. Now I need to set the bot to run when the script is called. If we now run python main.py, we should see no errors. If you see any, check your auth credentials when creating the bot. Now I can go to my channel's chat. This is useful when developing a bot. You don't need to be live for this. Your chat is always available, so you can use it for testing when you're not streaming. And if I send a simple message in here, such as test, we can see in the terminal that my name and the message has been printed out. Now we want to add a command to respond to, so I'm just going to add a test command. This tells our bot to respond to any test command by calling this function, which I just have responding with a test message. Before we can run the bot again, we need to modify the event function. Like I said before, the event isn't needed if you're only interested in commands, but if you have that in place, you'll need to tell the bot that it needs to handle any commands in the message after you've done whatever you wanted to do. Now we can run the bot again. And if I go back to Twitch and send a test command remembering the prefix I set, we can see in the chat the response is being returned from the bot. And back in the terminal, we can see that the author name and message were printed out for both. Another thing worth mentioning, if you want a bit more functionality, is to use a client as well as the bot. The client gives access to more info from Twitch, such as the current chatters in the channel, list of followers for a user, who they're following, etc. So I'll update my imports to bring in the client, and then I can create a client using the client ID and secret we got at the beginning. Again, I'm pulling those values from end variables, so make sure they match what you've set. As an example of this working, I'm going to add a new command to get the chatters in the channel. This will use the client to get a list of chatters in the specified channel, which is my own, and I'm just going to send that back into the chat. Not a very exciting use, I know, but enough to show things working. Now I can run the bot again, and if I go back to Twitch, I can use the existing test command and see that working. And I can now use a new who command, which excitingly tells me that I'm the only person in my channel, along with my bot. That's all there is to it. You now have a basic Twitch chat bot running. I've left a link to the source code for this example in the description. I hope that was helpful. 